What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade any OS X hardware to the latest OS X Ventura 13.4. Uh, this is a really easy process. It is a little time consuming and you'll need a USB thumb drive, but don't worry, you can reuse all that old hardware and upgrade it to the latest and greatest version of Mac OS. And yes, that does mean you can use Xcode as well. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this video, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Money Dad. Thanks for being a channel supporter. If you want to be a channel member and get shout outs like this one, click on that membership button below. Uh, let's get right to the video. So the first thing we need to do is download the OpenCore Legacy Patcher version at the time of this video, 0.6.6. Uh, it may be a later version when you download it, but the process should remain pretty much the same unless they make some major upgrades, which I doubt. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, download the files first. So here we have the actual GitHub page with the latest releases. We only need to download the OpenCore Patcher GUI app. We do not need to download the assets. Those will automatically be downloaded when you run the app itself. So we'll let that download. All right, now that it's downloaded, we can go ahead and open up the Patcher. Make sure to go ahead and click Trust or Open on any of the dialogs that come up. You may also be prompted to enter your password. And we're going to go to Create Mac OS Installer. Once we click that, we're going to go ahead and choose Download Mac OS Installer. And it will download the latest catalog of available operating systems. And this is direct from Apple. And here we see the different versions available. I'm going to go ahead and choose Mac OS 13.4.1, because that is the latest version, Ventura. Thankfully, that's also the smallest version. The download process will take some time, so we'll go ahead and fast forward through this. The installer will validate and extract. This process will take some time, especially if you're on older hardware, and if the video implies it, it probably will be on older hardware, because uh, that's kind of the only hardware that isn't supported uh, with the new operating systems. Then once it finishes extracting, you're gonna choose Create Mac OS Installer and hit Yes. And of course, we can choose the one we just downloaded, uh, Mac OS Ventura 13.4. Again, make sure to give it any permissions it requires. Then it's going to find any local disks attached. And this is where you'll need to actually use a USB drive, and it has to be at least 16 gigs. Uh, the installer and you know some of the extracted files take up about 12 to 13, uh, but you still want to make sure that you have a little bit of leeway there uh, for actually installing the open core afterwards as well. So 16 gigabytes or higher is recommended for this. And I used a 16 gig data traveler here, so I go ahead and choose that one. You don't need to do anything special with the drive unless it, of course, doesn't show up in Mac, but as long as it shows up, it will be uh, reformatted as required um, by the app, so we don't have to do anything in disk utility or anything like that. Um, but it will erase everything on the drive, so make sure that this is either a new drive or one that you don't mind losing the data on. Then when the installer is finished, uh, adding it to the drive, it'll ask you if you want to install OpenCore to the disk as well. And we do need to do this so that it shows up in the uh, boot menu. So go ahead and choose yes there. And then you'll need to reboot to apply the settings. Uh, when the computer reboots, hold down the option key or the alt key to get into the EFI menu. Once you're booted into the drive, you're gonna choose install Mac OS Ventura, just like you normally would. And continue through the installation process. Now, the computer will boot, but you're not in the clear yet. There's one more thing you need to do to make this bootable without the drive. So once your computer 
finishes booting up, you'll be prompted with an open core dialog that says uh, you are booting from a USB or external drive. Would you like to boot your Mac normally without the USB drive plugged in? You can install open core to the internal drive and this is what we need to do. So click on OK and choose install to disk. Once you've done so, go ahead and reboot. Take the drive out uh, to ensure that you are booting from the hard drive. And uh, you'll be prompted with the same EFI menu. Just go ahead and choose EFI boot and then boot Ventura from hard drive. Then you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?